Whoa. Who are you? I'm Mr. Wilson. But your mouth doesn't even move. So, here we are, talking about which nouns we can count and which nouns we shouldn't count. Uh, I think the Project 2 book is very, very confusing on this, and it's kind of silly. There's no need to think of which nouns are countable and which nouns are uncountable, because you can use articles to do anything you want. Just by changing your article, you can change what you mean. So I would much rather teach you how to use a and some so that you can use the language like you want instead of thinking, is this countable? Is this not countable? Because it's not really how English works. So uh, let me explain a little bit here. So usually things which you can count, you can easily say a. For example, I ate a pizza. I can count that whole pizza. Uh, generally, if there's a measurement involved, you can say A. Uh, but if something is generally referred to in its volume, like water or milk or flour, then most of the time we use some. But you don't always have to. You can say, I had some milk, or you can say, I had a glass of milk. You can say, I ate some bacon, or you can say, I put a slice of bacon on my eggs. Uh, there's some funny ones you wouldn't think of, like fries. Like, nobody's counting how much fries they eat. So, that one we usually say, I ate some fries or I ate some chips. But you can still say, I ate a bag of chips or I had a french fry if you really mean you only have one. It's okay. What we really want to learn is, you should use an article when you're using nouns in a sentence. You should, and the article's going to identify if it's countable or uncountable. But you have to decide how you want to do that. If you're counting the noun or not counting, it's up to you. It's your decision and how you use the language. So, for example, Mmm, rice. Rice good. I like rice. Did you have some rice? Normally, we would say, Yeah, I had some rice. And that would be the end of it. Because, you know, who's counting the grains? I mean, no one's sitting there counting, I had 337 grains of rice, right? So normally, in general, we would just say, I had some rice. But you can say, I had a bowl of rice, and it's perfectly fine. Uh, if you're talking about bowls... Maybe you would count the bowls. I had two bowls of rice the other day, and it was awesome. Uh, but if you're a one-bowl kind of person, you would just say, I had a bowl of rice. Same deal with pasta. Here's some spaghetti with meatballs. You can say, we had some spaghetti with meatballs for dinner. Or, if you want, you can say, I had a bowl of pasta with meatballs. It's up to you. You choose. You have to... Choose which article you're going to use. So generally, if you want to be specific and count the nouns, you would use a. If you're being specific, I had a bowl of rice. But if you want to just be casual, non-specific, yeah, I had some milk. It's fine. Arg, Wilson, give me some rules, eh? You're definitely right. There are some rules, Mr. Pirate. So for one thing, a and an are the same. They count one thing. I had a slice of pizza, or I had two slices of pizza. A equals one, and an equals one, too. It's a very easy rule to use a, or if you want to use an. Uh, we use a for all words which start with a consonant, like cat, or mouse, or pizza. We'd say a cat, a mouse, a pizza. We use an for all words which start with vowels, like owl, or apple, or amazing slice of Hawaiian pizza. Vowels are a, e, i, o, and u. And consonants are not vowels. So if it's a consonant, you use a. If it's a vowel, you use an. Generally, using some 
for anything more than one, like volumes or drinking, something you really would not count. We would normally use some. So, for example, like I had some milk. But like I said before, you can count it by saying I had a glass of milk. But usually, if it's more than one or not something we count, we would use some. But the decision is still on you. So, I recommend trying to use some combinations. For example, like, I had a taco with some milk. Or, you could say, I had a pizza and then some chocolate. Or, you could say, I had some olives with a spoonful of peanut butter. Ugh, gross. So, the whole purpose here is when which article to use. And if you are counting the noun, you either count it, I had three pancakes, or you use a, I had a burger. If you're not counting the noun, you would say, I had some water. And that's really it for now. Uh, I'm going to probably have to make another one of these articles video, but for now, uh, I hope this is helpful. Let's just try to keep things simple and enjoy. Goodbye. Good morning.